Hi guys, when Microsoft pulled the plug on Windows Mixed Reality, most of us assumed the headsets would fade into obscurity, HP Reverb G2 included. But the community had other plans. Thanks to the brilliant Oasis driver, Windows Mixed Reality headsets are back from the brink and fully functional on modern Windows builds. And here's the kicker, with official support gone, prices have dropped, making these headsets one of the best PC VR bargains around. So today we're installing this revival driver and putting the Reverb G2 through its paces again. Let's see what kind of performance we can squeeze out without breaking the bank. What is Oasis? Oasis is a custom driver for Windows 11 that brings Windows Mixed Reality headsets like the HP Reverb G2 back to life. It bypasses the now defunct Mixed Reality portal and integrates directly with SteamVR, offering full headset and motion controller tracking. It's compatible with both OpenXR and OpenVR via SteamVR. But here's the catch. You must use SteamVR for it to function. No portal, no fuss. Just plug in and play. Installing Oasis is refreshingly simple. Head to the Steam store and search for Oasis driver for Windows Mixed Reality. You'll see a free button, click it, and it'll install like any other Steam app. Before you can start using the Oasis driver with Windows Mixed Reality headsets, you have to first unlock them. This is a simple process. You launch the Oasis driver and it will give you two options. To unlock your headset, you click Launch to unlock your headset and controllers for Oasis. This will then enable your ability to use those devices with the Oasis driver, and you only have to do this the first time. Subsequent executions of the Oasis driver are not necessary. It should automatically load. If you want to also get the controllers working with Oasis, you have to first open up the battery door and there's a little button at the bottom underneath the batteries that you press. The controller has to be on when you press that button and you have to do that whilst searching in Windows using Bluetooth for the controller. Once you've got them connected, you might have to rerun the unlock tool. It's a bit inconvenient that you have to have Bluetooth working for this, but it's better than nothing. Now a few caveats. Windows 11 only. Oasis doesn't support Windows 10 or Linux. If you're not on Windows 11, this isn't for you. NVIDIA only. At the time of recording, Oasis only works with NVIDIA GPUs. No AMD or Intel support yet. So Radeon users will need to sit tight and hope for future updates. Does it work? Let's walk through it. I plugged in the HP Reverb G2, fired up SteamVR, and boom, it was detected instantly. No mixed reality portal, no setup wizard, no drama. Motion controllers paired without issue, tracking was responsive, and the headset display looked crisp. Performance wise, it's solid. You're still going through SteamVR, so you lose a bit of the optimization that came from bypassing it in the old portal days. But honestly, that portal was buggy, bloated, and often the source of more problems than it solved. With Oasis, you get a cleaner, more stable experience, and in some cases, even better frame pacing. Why bother? As I mentioned in the intro, headsets like the Reverb G2 were top tier just a few years ago. Sure, they're showing a bit of age now, but they're still solid performers. And thanks to Microsoft pulling the plug, they're dirt cheap. I picked up this G2 for around £100. Compare that to something like the Pimax Crystal Lite, which even secondhand can fetch £450. And you'll see why this is a budget-friendly way to get into PC VR. That leaves more room in your budget for a better GPU, which, let's be honest, is where the real performance gains lie. The Oasis driver gives Windows Mixed Reality headsets a second wind. Earlier this year, I stopped recommending the G2 as an entry-level headset because Microsoft was sunsetting the platform. But now, it's back on the table. With so many Windows Mixed Reality headsets flooding the second-hand market, prices have dropped dramatically. You struggled to find a MetaQuest 2 for what I paid for this G2. And while they're out of warranty 
these units are built to last, especially with solid software support. Yes, you lose the ability to bypass SteamVR, but the trade-off is worth it. Native SteamVR support via Oasis is smoother, more reliable, and less frustrating than the old portal ever was. And with SteamVR planning to adopt Oasis as the default driver for Windows Mixed Reality headsets, setup will only get easier from here. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly way to jump into PC VR, or just want to revive an old headset gathering dust, Oasis might be the lifeline you've been waiting for. If you found this video helpful, give it the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more VR, sim racing and tech content. Until next time, happy racing and bye-bye.